Hey everyone, I've gotten a lot of questions about jumping the Apache, so I figured I'm going to do a video on jumping it. Uh, first things first, I kind of tried to go back as much stock as possible uh, in terms of power. So as you can see, I went back to the stock motor. I'm going to the stock Cubase. I'm running two, uh, two, two cell packs uh, that are 3300 milliamps. So I'm going to run a very basic setup uh, and do some jumps for you. Um, I haven't. I'm hoping that everything will work as well as I had hoped because I haven't used this in a while. I'm accustomed to the power from the blur system that if you burp the throttle, it lifts the front run right up. So I'm going to try and do some videos of this and just give you, and let you see what's going on. Um, enjoy. All right. I have a very basic ramp set up. Not too long of a runway. Uh, maybe about 30 feet or so of cement that I'm going to jump. Uh, then you got about another 5-10 feet here. I'm going to land in the grass because, as I said, this thing's a lawn dart and since I haven't jumped with uh, the stock system in a while, I want to make sure that I don't damage the front end too much by landing on cement wall. To give you an idea, I'm going to back up here and right now when you see this tree, that's about the distance I can clear with the blur system. Very easily off that simple ramp. I can clear that entire distance, which is probably about 30, 40 feet off of that simple ramp with the blur and success. So I'm gonna give it a try here with 4S and see where I end up. I'm gonna actually stand right here, right next to the tree. So that way I can at least protect the car from the tree and hopefully not get hurt and let it jump. So I'm gonna get started with some jumping and then I'll let you know what's going on. So I'm gonna be standing right next to the tree, filming the video with the car jumping at me, hopefully catching lots of good footage. All right, I just did a couple of jumps. Uh, let's see, the furthest jump is marked right here into the grass. Uh, so standing from this point here, right here, that's where it landed, to about there, you're talking about 30 feet. So I'm clearing about 30 feet off of a standard race uh, skateboard jump ramp. I'm gonna get some side footage so you can watch All it. Right, I don't know how well I'm gonna do this off to the side, it's kind of an awkward angle, but I want you to at least see it jumping. Lawn dart. But that gave you an idea of the distance. Let's see if I can control it. It's hard for me to judge from the side here to jump it. Missed the ramp. I'm 
case that happens to you while jumping, if you steer, you can actually swerve the car left or right if it's going sideways, and that gyroscopic effect will straighten out the car again for you. Here we go again. So I don't know if you can tell, right at the base of the ramp, I'm letting go of the throttle and then punching it again to lift up that front end. So let's try that. Hopefully you can hear it in the motor. So it's a quick let off, like maybe a foot or two before the ramp. And then I punch it again to bring up that front end. Okay, girls, you gotta be careful because that this car is very heavy and very fast. I'm gonna do a different angle from the back here, see if you can see the transition of weight from the front to the back right before the ramp. Uh, so, you know, you can see how it takes off. It's a very fast pump of the throttle. And unfortunately, it went off the ramp crooked that time, so you couldn't see the landing, but let's see if I can do it. Did you, did you hear it? Did you see how it happens? A good way to practice is come at it slow and then punch it right before the ramp and you'll find exactly how much distance you need for your particular model. Like I said, in my case, running this current setup, I need uh, probably about a foot or two before the ramp to punch it. Um, when I'm running the blur system, I can actually punch it right on the ramp or in air and I can correct the nose diving. So here we go, we'll do some more jumping. Oh, that's crooked, that's crooked. Uh, I'm gonna try one other view to see if it works out any better just right before the ramp. Let me just go a little closer now, let's see if I can give you a better shot. All right, um, I wanted to show you some video of it jumping from the side, but that last crash kind of ripped my splitter apart, so I got to resolder it before I can do anything else with it. Um, I only run a single line off of my speed control, and then I split it that way. Uh, that way it gives me the ability to run a single 4S pack or 6X pack uh, without having to do any modifications, or I can run double with the splitter. So that's how I have it set up, but it went bad, and I guess I'll uh, need to solder that up. So that way I can continue to run the car. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the videos and take it easy. Bye bye. All right, just wanted to kind of show you guys the ramp and the jumping that I was doing. Here's my 1080 ramp. It's a simple ramp, maybe about a foot tall. Uh, I don't know what the angle approach is, but it's the 1080 from a regular skate thing that I got at Toys R Us. But what I wanted to show you was the distance I was getting off of that simple little ramp with an Apache. So there's the, there's the tape measure and show you that it's starting right there at the very beginning. And we're gonna follow it along. Okay, here you go. 30 feet. There you go, nice and clean. 30 feet. There's my point of impact. Hold on, let me do it like this so you can see. 30 feet. Point of impact from the furthest jump. 
I'm just gonna zoom up so you can see what I'm talking about. So as you can see with that simple ramp, I can get about 30 feet of range using 4S and landing it. Uh, it does nosedive with the stock pack a lot more than the blur system, but you can still control it. You just have to time it just right, hitting that throttle so that way when it gets off the ramp, at that point when it hitches right off the ramp, then the front is lifting up just from the acceleration and then it keeps that nose in the air. So I hope that helps out. I hope that helps with the jumping. As you can see, that palm tree is roughly the marker. Uh, we've had a good time jumping. Later.